hello everybody and welcome to the enterprise suite uh, accounting uh, demo okay uh, we're going to log in as obviously admin uk uh, to the demo corporation data set and we're going to use the local area network as our connection okay let's sign in okay and click on the accounting module okay the layout of the module is exactly the same as the other modules. If you've watched any of the presentations, you'll know that we've got new, uh, so we've got new uh, nominal code, new journal, new prepayment, and we've got find, and in our tool sections, we've got other things we want to do. Okay, right. <clears throat> we've also got a workflow menu here, and we've also got uh, dashboards. Okay, so let's just, I suppose, start from the top and work our way down. Okay, so let's do a new nominal code. When you first set the system up, you can pick a template, a, a predefined template. Um, uh, obviously, if you don't want to use that, you can set up your own. Uh, but our recommendation is that you kind of go with the default one and then edit it or change it. Okay, so um, the options are, would you like to create, uh, set up your, your chart of accounts, user defined, or from a predefined template? Okay, well, we'll add our own. Okay, do you want to do a simple structure or do you want to do a segmented structure? Okay, so what this means is, uh, from a segment point of view, you know, do you want to kind of have split it by, let's say, country, location, and department? Okay, but we'll just do a simple one for the time being. And so what it's asking me for is a nominal account code and description. Okay, so I'm going to type 40,000 in. I'm going to call this sales, I don't know, type Z. Um, and what it's saying here is, is it an asset, liability, equity, revenue, or expense? Well, it's a revenue account. I can also pick a uh, subgroup analysis, so I can say, yeah, it's a sale. These are also user definable as well, and they're purely for kind of reporting and, and, and analyzing. And then within the sales, what do I want to stick it into? Well, I'm going to stick it into sales, other income. Um, and I have to identify if it's a bank account or a petty cash account. Okay, so I say next. Um, this is obviously meant for if we're kind of doing a lot of accounts in one go. Yeah, but essentially I've just put, done one and I can assign a budget to this particular nominal code if I want to. Okay, so I say next and that's generated that nominal code. But I could obviously do as many nominal codes at once if I wanted to. All right, so let's just go into this again. Okay, and let's do this. We're going to copy from our normal template. Okay, and we're going to do a segmented structure as well. And we're only going to apply the segments to profit and loss codes. Okay, revenue and expense codes. Okay, so we'll go next. Uh, what it's coming up with now is the segments. I can actually define the segments before I get to here in my uh, account segments area. Okay, but, uh, but we'll do it while we're actually doing this. Okay, so I've done country, location, department. Okay, I can have up to five segments uh, of five characters each. Okay, I can move them up and down using these buttons. I can get rid of them um, and I can change the descriptions on them. Okay. So we'll say next. So what it's asking for on countries is which countries would you like? Okay, so you, you obviously put those in. What locations do you want and what departments do you want? Okay, so on the location side, let's add um, London to it as well. Okay, so if I go next, what it's saying is for countries, it's saying in Australia, okay, what countries? Okay, so it's so in Australia we have Sydney, um, in the UK we have Manchester and London, and in the US we've just got Los Angeles, okay? So it's just that when it's generating the codes, yeah, if we didn't do something like this, it would create uh, a segment code for Australia and Los Angeles and Manchester. So by, by identifying this now, what we're able to do is um, uh, basically cut down the list straight away. Okay, so location, LA. Uh, what departments do we have in LA? Okay, well, we have, uh, let's say, admin and accounting. In London, we have purchasing and support. In Manchester, we have admin and purchasing. And in Sydney, let's say we've got accounting. Okay. Okay, so so what you can see now is from the template, yeah, we it's created, okay, um, a the, the code, the segment, and the description. Okay, so it's put in there, sales promotions, Australia, Sydney, accounting. And it's done that for each department. So you can see that this would actually create a massive nominal code. Yeah, so we're not going to save this, but essentially uh, you can see that, for example, context of public liability insurance, you've got it for Australia, the UK, the US, and it's picked all the actual options we've, uh, we've got. Okay, so I'm going to cancel. Okay, right. Um, so let's do a journal. 
very basic, simple journal. Um, the date, okay, so let's say the date is uh, January. Uh, we have something called templates in here. So, so if we kind of have to do a journal a lot, um, then, you know, for let's say, I don't know, a budget, a, a split on the wages or whatever it might be, uh, we can call up that journal and it'll actually default all the actual codes in. Um, so let's just kind of open a template up so you can actually see and create a, a, a percentage split one. Okay, create a new journal template. We'll make it a percentage one. And I'm going to call this um, example percentage okay um, the account codes I'm going to pick is a list of my nominal codes obviously I'm just picking a few and I'm going to say right 100% of the value will be there and 50% will be there and 50% will be there and obviously I can put some details in and obviously tax types so that's saved a that particular journal template saved okay uh, so when I actually open my journal I could actually pick that particular one that I, I created so if I pick it, what happens is it defaults in those nominal codes. And if I type a thousand in here, it will automatically put the, the other other amounts into there. It's just a very quick and easy way of you know splitting out costs both between department or whatever. Okay. Um another way, okay. Um if you actually save this journal, you can actually automatically save, change date, and make a reversal. Uh, if you wanted to kind of do a journal this month and then reverse it next month. Um, because of the period we're in at the moment, it's automatically put January in, okay? Um, but if I kind of backdate this to, let's say, November, then it'll put November period because obviously November's open. But if I put an October period on, it still puts November, okay? Because uh, September and October are closed. November is the only, is the open, is, is the only open period we have. So anything dated before that's entered, onto closed periods, it would stamp with a November period transaction um, code. Um, okay, so let's just put this back to uh, January the 4th. January the you can see it puts it as January. Okay, so save and close. That's a journal. Uh, for those people that like to do manual journals. Okay, the reason that people do a lot of journals is to do prepayments and accruals. Okay, but what we've done is we've tried to simplify this for people. Um, and we've created like a prepayment wizard. Okay, so if I open the prepayment wizard and say next. Um, so for example, let's say I've paid the rent for the year, £12,000. Um, and that £12,000 invoice has gone directly onto our profit and loss. And there's 12,000, so in this month, there's £12,000 sitting there. Okay, so what I really want to do is take that £12,000 off there and just drop £1,000 a month onto the profit and loss. Okay, so if I put £12,000 as the rent, okay, over 12 months, and basically put a reference one in and a reference two in, and here I need to pick rent, okay, so I know it's seven something, um, so if I could just kind of, it's not rent income, it's actual rent, there you go. Okay, so that's the nominal code, that's the prepayment nominal code in the balance sheet, and that's the actual rent and uh, profit and loss code. So what it's going to do is it's going to split that £12,000 into each period, each month, and then it's going to do a journal to take £12,000 off the rent, profit and loss code, and stick it into prepayments on the balance sheet, and then it's going to drop £1,000 per month onto the profit and loss for me. And that's it, done. So that kind of simplifies uh, the, the, the journals that need to be done for a prepayment. Um, and obviously accruals are exactly the same way. For example, you've got the telephone bill in, or you're so you, you accruing for the telephone bill coming in three months' time, um, and it automatically reverses itself. 